for 3D figures, volume and surface area are the frequently calculated metrics. So for this lecture, let's learn about them. Volume. It is the amount of the space occupied by an object. And it is usually measured in centimeter cube, meter cube. And coming to surface area, it is the area of all its surfaces together. And it is usually measured in centimeter square, meter square. Now let's get into the three dimensional objects. In that, let's start with the cube. A cube can be thought as a extended square, which has six equal faces. That is this particular side, this, this, this one, this one, the bottom and the top. All the sides are equal. If I take this as the length, let it be A. And this is the breadth. This is also A. And even the height is also A. So for a cube, I can write the length, breadth and the height are equal. Now coming to the volume, for a regular figure, it is base area into height. So for a cube, volume can be written as base area is A into A. That's A square. And the height is also A. So this is A cube, where A is the length of the side. Now coming to this surface area, because all these six ways are equal, I can directly say six times of area of a side. Area of a side is A square. Therefore, surface area can be written as six A square. Now let's learn about cuboid. Cuboid can be thought as an extension for the rectangle. It is a rectangular solid body with six faces. If I label the edges, we can think this as the length, this as breadth, and this as the height. So from this we can write, volume is base area into height. Therefore, base area is L into B, and the height is H. So the volume is L, B, H for a cuboid. Now coming to the surface area, we need to add all these side areas. So here you see, this side is equal to the side, which is BH plus BH. Then these two sides are equal, which is L into B. So LB plus LB. And finally, the front side is equal to the back side. That is HL plus HL. So together I can add as 2 times of LB plus BH plus HL. This is the surface area of a cuboid. This much basic is enough. Let's quickly get into the question. The areas of three consecutive faces of a cuboid are 12 centimeter square, 20 centimeter square, and 15 centimeter square. Then the volume in centimeter cube of the cuboid is. To understand this, let's draw the diagram. Let's assume this is the cuboid. One of the side area is 12 centimeter square. The other one is 20 centimeter square. And the last one, 15 centimeter square. If I label the edges, let's take this to be L. This is B and this one as H. So from this I can write, LB is 20 centimeter square. BH is 12 centimeter square and HL is 15 centimeter square. The question asked is for volume. We already know volume is LBH. In order to get this, let me multiply all the three. When we multiply, we get it as L square, B square, H square equals 20 into 12 into 15. This is 3600. So from this, I can write. LBH is root of 3600, that is 60. Therefore, the volume is 60 centimeter cube, that is option D. Now, let's try one more question. The surface area of a cuboid is 22 centimeter square, and some of the lengths of all its edges is 24 centimeter. Length of each diagonal of the cuboid in, in centimeter is in the question, they are asking us to calculate the length of the diagonal. This is a diagonal from one of the edge 
to the other corner. To calculate this, what we will do is, first we will calculate the diagonal for the base. If this is the length and this is the breadth, we already know using Pythagoras theorem, the bottom will be root of L square plus B square. Now again, this becomes a right angle triangle. Let me draw it outside. This is a triangle where the base is L square plus B square and the side or the height is H. So this part will be root of L square plus B square plus H square. So I can write length of diagonal is root L square plus B square plus H square. This is what we need to find. Let me also write the given data. They said the surface area is 22 centimeter square. Therefore, S is 2 times of LB plus BH plus HL. This is 22. And they said that if you calculate the sum of all the edges, it is 24. Now, each edge is repeated 4 times. So, I can write as 4 times of L plus B plus H. The reason is, if I take this to be L, this is also L, L and L, 4 L. If this is B, 1, 2, 3, 4 B. If I take this as H, 1, 2, 3, 4. So each edge is repeating 4 times. So this quantity is 24. So from this we can write L B plus B H plus H L is 11. And from this we can write L plus B plus H is 6. Now in order to get to this L square B square H square, let me square this. I can write L plus B plus H whole square is L square B square H square plus 2 times of L B plus B H plus H L. Now in this I can substitute the values. This is 6 square equals L square plus B square plus H square plus 22. So from this I can write L square plus B square plus H square is 14. So from this I can write this quantity is under root of 14. That is the answer. So option C. I hope you are clear with the concept of cubes and cuboids. <laughs>